Yo, hey, what's up, guys? I think everybody wants to know if Tronda is still gonna be the best champion for Hydra or not after the Hydra rebalance. We are on the test server right now, so we can actually test. We're gonna take her for a test spin. I'm gonna show you the stats, what I have on her, and also you see the team in a second. So, what do we, what do we have? We have a 9k, let's say a 2.8k attack and 363% crit damage. That is a really good set. For some people, that's unreachable for them. For some people, for Krakens, they may be like, ah, it's not that great, but it's okay. And we're gonna take <laughs> Tronda for a test spin in there. Also, Wixwell is on the list. I made him in the thumbnail, but we just clearly can say he is dead and that will not work anymore. Don't even try, the numbers are just not making it work anymore. But what will happen if we go for a Trunda? I have a really good team, I used her before. In hard mode I think I did 18 billion damage most of the time. And we are in brutal mode right now. And also I have at the moment already a little bit of bad news for you. So let's just jump in and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Trunda does not hit as hard before anymore, I have the feeling. Because, you will see what I mean in a second, she is just not capable to kill anything on the start anymore. So we're gonna just do whatever we want to do here. And get some more ally protection and stuff for protection set. And I have it exactly like I have on the live server, so no change at all. Let's see what she can do. Of course, we need to attack someone with good affinity, so we're gonna attack the mischief. Really good affinity, everything is set up. Gonna attack him. Wasn't too nice. Even again, let us do it again. Maybe Helm Smasher or something didn't proc. Oh wait, we are on kind of auto, but shouldn't be such a problem. And let's place the debuffs again. And already damage got better, but I cannot kill heads anymore up in even let's go brutal, uh, not, not brutal, let's go hard mode. I show you. She kind of got really hard nerfed even on her skill. Let's not do it on auto. So same thing, just on hard mode, even one low, lower stage. Can we do something crazy in here? Again, we're gonna do all the preparation, getting the protection set, getting the hex, getting debuffs, everything set up like I'm used to. Attacking the head, didn't go too well. Let's do it one more time. Maybe no helm smasher, again. It's okay, that can happen. But already I can see that she is just not smacking as hard as before anymore. And it's kind of odd, kind of, I nothing was mentioned about that one. But okay, it is how it is. Let's try it one more time. Ally protection. And we're gonna go like this. Getting the debuffs up. And getting the attack up. So, again, not really happening too much. Let's go on normal mode. All right, let's check it out in here. Can we actually kill something in here? This is, it is strange to be honest that you not even can kill heads anymore. Like that's how weak she is at the moment. Got an extra turn right here. We're just gonna fire it somewhere. Doesn't matter. Yay, Tronda worked the S2. That is nice. So we're gonna play some hex. Exactly the same preparation than before. And on the live server. That's what I use on the live server all the time. Or well, let's say that's what I used to do. This is not gonna happen anymore. So again, we're gonna attack him. And now we killed something. That is really nice, but it is not really the best in the world. I'm gonna show you something else. Before we just gonna do the double hit, I will go a little bit on and on so you can kind of get a feeling what is happening. So we're gonna get the extra turn again. That's actually not what I want. Wasting my time. Again, the hex on someone. Then we're gonna do this one that one and now you are gonna see that basically her a2 is better now okay it's not even like let's say it's almost the same and it's kind of not too great 
I'm gonna show you something. Have you ever taken a look at... Give me a sec. <laughs> Wait. At the cooldowns on those skills. It's a five turn cooldown. That is amazingly bad. That one is a four turn cooldown. Not really that great. But let's see how good we, we hit right now. We're gonna attack the down head with the super good attack. What has been always the super good attack. But now let's see what did it change. We killed the others. Nice. That head respawns right away and he has that buff. Let's go ahead and put some... We cannot basically attack those. Okay, we got two... Wait. Did he get killed and came back right away? It didn't pay too much attention on that one, but he does not have the thing. So I think, yeah, the double respawn. Okay, we, we just downed and killed at the same time. I have no idea how that happened. Let's just continue a little bit. So you kind of get a feel because the numbers are kind of looking okay right now. To be honest, it's, it's not looking that bad. But it will over time. You will see what I mean in a second. So now we're getting all the debuffs out there. We're probably gonna kill that head. We're gonna attack. They're both not the right affinities, but we have to just help marry it and hope that everything is okay. They both died. They're both gonna respawn. We still have something on the board that we cannot attack right now. So ally attacks shouldn't be done on the downed head ever. That's kind of what I had on experience when I tried it a couple times. So let's go ahead a little bit more. You will see over time it's getting more awkward and, and even worse than you probably thought. So let's do the attack again on the down head. Now he died. We Now we have two people on the board with three people on the board with that not so great buff that can literally damage negate everything 100% of it. But okay, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna ally attack on someone that is basically untouchable. He does get zero damage. That's cool, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> you know how it is. And now we're gonna reset. Maybe one of them take a turn, that's okay. But at some point we have to face the mechanics of the Hydra. And that is where everything falls apart. Maybe there will be some teams that are kind of Yumeko to Yumeko the Tranda and some champions they have like block buffs and all those good things but Tranda will never ever be be as good or even the best that that she was before so we're gonna attack right here he died he took a turn that's okay now we cannot attack we have to do on purpose no damage or else we would kill the head and they're just gonna respawn we wanna basically kill them two minimum at the same time or else it's not as great for us as it was so we can go a little bit further but now the redhead is out there he will provoke us and then it's kind of really hard for us so let's do that damage again the damage is looking right now pretty okay but just not what it was before to be honest and now we do have one two three on the board we can attack only one head and we are on normal again keep in mind the boss turn count what you see right now it is it is not going to up to 200 to boss turns it's probably gonna be 100 because we are so fast and this is normal mode they are so slow that we take so many turns that that number will never go that high as for example a nightmare team on kind of a normal strategy on a team so we're gonna reset a little bit more we still have one on the board the thing is, on the Hydra rebalance video of Wade Shadow Legends themselves, they made like videos where they showed, for example, Nightmare 200 million. And I believe that, that they probably went one time over there. They probably pressed 50 times auto. One time it was 200 million and it was kind of nice. But we have to face everything right now. We are kind of lucky that the Poison Cloud didn't go out. We, we are losing so many turns when the Poison Cloud is out. And of course, for a 2 Yumeko and Gerbtuck, there is a block buff in there. You still could use it somehow and it will be kind of okay. But I don't think a Tranda team on the end will be the best team. There are probably way better champions now out there like the Void Legendary now or just probably Val or something that is constantly doing AoE hits instead of just Tranda just doing it sometimes. For example, like right now she's doing it forever, but this team right here, it will not 
handle the damage, will not handle the debuffs. They, they just are... Yeah, just dummies over there for the... It, it literally changed. Before the heads were our dummies trying to just, just hit in there and just so, oh, my, my damage raised by 10%. And now it's basically in a different way. They're like untouchable and like, oh, no, you're not going to do anything to us. So, the damage is looking really nice, but now we have four people and one of them is the poison cloud guy. So next time we won't be able to do any damage. At this point, we have to wait until they do a turn. All right, we got one turn on the left head so we can attack him again. That's kind of okay. At least we got one. Okay, we got two on the board. And let's go a little bit further. To be honest, at the moment, it's not actually looking that bad, but I had way different runs where the poison cloud, for example, it was just out there and you couldn't do anything about it. That was kind of the nasty thing. So let's try to kill two. We have, we didn't kill two at the same time. Let's go ahead and ally attack this dude because we can't do. Okay, we were able to do another head. So. <laughs> To be honest, it's looking at the moment pretty okay-ish. But first of all, on higher stages, we cannot use her anymore. For some reason, she doesn't do the damage what she did before. So let's try to kill something else. Now the poison cloud is out there for himself. <laughs> it's kind of... We do not have block buffs right now. So it is kind of hard to get all those mechanics at the same time going while we're still creating a team. At the moment it's looking <laughs> way better than I actually thought. <laughs> but it is luck at the moment. I know that one. I had turns where I went to turn 20 and I had like 65 million damage on there. And this is just like an average team. Now we are out of control because something happened. I think maybe we got our turn meter stolen or something. And for this moment that's where we should be at, on the end where we face the mechanics and we get our provokes in there we cannot reset all the time and that's where she kind of loses her value if you cannot use your skills for example even if you have two yumikos in there and the provoke is gonna hit your champions and everything goes out of order and you actually have to face it now it's maybe gonna be okay if you do something on normal hmm. wouldn't recommend it so they both came back. But yeah, I, I think I went a little bit longer than I actually wanted because the, the numbers are actually kind of okay right now, but it is not what we are used to see from a Trunda. So I have another example where we actually use our Trunda in a different kind of set where she actually has 100% crit rate. That's actually what you need when you use her by herself on a damage dealer. And we will get her in another team that is just meant to do a normal run. We're going on hard right now because I still don't think she will be super effective when we go on Nightmare. Maybe okay-ish, but still we can test it in a little bit. Don't you worry, but we're just gonna go on um, hard mode right now. And we're just gonna let it go. Again, <laughs> five turn cooldown on the second hardest hitting on her. I think it's the second one. And even the other one is not as high as it was before. It does not have the double multiplier and all the, those things. So if you hit four million on the other heads, you probably do three million on just the others. No special multiplier again. That's what you saw or else my damage would go really high. Even without the critical anymore. But it would be way higher than it is right now. And what can she bring in a normal team right now? Will she be more effective? She is in Merciless right now, so she gets way more resets than usually. <clears throat> and if you don't use a reset kind of based team, then obviously she's not going to do her skills so often. And that's going to lose you a ton of damage. In my opinion, she will be like a... A average damage, you know, not average, more more than better than average, but kind of like a four. They will be in the same damage realm. I <laughs> I finished a run like this before. I let it go fully on auto and let's see what kind of damage came out. I'm gonna show you now a screenshot where I actually did it. it was, I think it was like 450 million, and that is just not good. 
to be honest that is really weak and it's not one you, what you want to see on the end because my four and my Teox team they all kind of did around 400 million damage and that is it, it kind of feels like the damage is is capped maybe you do 100 more but you gotta be really on man you getting your overview of the battle holding your your skills back and for the right scenario and maybe you get 100 or 200 more but this right now is just not what you are kind of used to <laughs> for real you, you spend so much in Tronda and that's what you get for it it's, it feels kind of nasty so at the moment we have about 3 million per turn a little bit more that will sink I, I already tested it I showed you the screenshot it's not going it's, it's just not that great as it was before but still she is usable just not <laughs> she's not number one anymore i think even if you set up a little bit of a different team the same could probably done with other champions that just hits hard like four uh wow taras or maybe taras is better better than her and i i really don't know at the moment She's good, but not what she was before anymore. So we're gonna jump in. The numbers are really, it's over time where you lose the damage most of the time. That, that's why it looks on a, on a beginning way better than it's actually on the end, but that's why I showed you the screenshot. Let's go just on Nightmare and test it out a little bit. Will it be fine? Is that trash? I think that's rest in peace for Trunda. It's, it's, she's nothing special anymore for me that's what i get out of there so and yeah on nightmare the damage isn't looking really too great that poison's cloud out there Let, let's retry i think that was just bad luck like rng on weak hits so we can see a little bit more because it is important you want to actually know what's up and yeah no more double multipliers on tranda no more big critical hit even even if we would be able to crit on the second part of her skill that wouldn't be so much of a maybe i don't know but <laughs> they took a little bit too much of her instead of just making her maybe still number one that's maybe what actually kind of that's what i wanted to see i still want her to be number one for like 20 30 maybe 50 percent better than all the other teams still okay you work for it so there must be always a number one but it really doesn't look too great if you see what's going on right now it's just not happening for you on higher stages anymore she's for some reason she does not do any more any damage to be honest she has the burn but that is on a five turn cooldown and it cannot be applied through poison cloud so if the poison cloud is already out there you have no chance to remove it and that's just the sad part we have those ai fixes where she's not gonna attack down heads anymore she's gonna prefer other ones so overall <laughs> she can do some damage but it's just not as good as she was before and i think she will be pro probably on, on man, let's say top 20 on champions on damage dealer on the end but just not as crazy or maybe other people are just impressing me and showing hey bronco you're totally wrong she can still do one of the most damage in the game and then just show me and i will be just gladly accepted and give you all the credits in the world because you did it let's see like the damage you can already see is falling off that that is not what it was anymore so we just gonna do something else there's another thing about tranda she is actually meant to do other things now in the game ignoring stone skin so we're gonna First of all, we're gonna test it without the blessing. There is, I think, a new blessing. Yes, I, I know there is one, but I just don't know which one it is. It increases the thing on the stone skin. So we are on six star. How much are we actually? Increases the damage inflict to stone skin by 100% and then we ignore another 50% of her own skill right there. So maybe that could be nice so first of all we're gonna check check it out with just crushing rent is it gonna change anything you saw the stats wait i'm gonna show you again when we are in there let's find a proper stone skin team where i am actually faster it's not so easy and 
Yeah, let's see what else. Are they in stone skin? Stone skin, they're meant to be fast. They are also maybe in stone skin. I can't really tell. Are they in stone? An ultimate death knight is kind of a bad example because he's weak affinity and so it could kind of give us the wrong impression on the end. Um, I think they're all faster than me. That's the problem at the moment. Aren't there like any guys who just went for a full stone skin kind of scenario because we kind of want to test? Um, let's go just try him. We have Tronda right there and we have a Shuzen. Wait, I'm gonna show you the stats again because they have changed a little bit from the other one that I actually actually showed you. We have to know something like that. Um, where's the team again? Damn. So, all right. Let me please press. Let me please. Yes, thank you. So the new stats are like this. We have 7,500 attack and we have 340 crit damage. Not too bad, but also not the craziest in the world. But let's see. Please, let, let's be stone skin in there. Yeah, we got some stone skin. We got two. They're both wrong affinity. That is not a good test. So we put that one on her, increase attack and... Okay, crit damage doesn't work. We already have 100%. So what's going to change? Let's see. Maybe that was all weak attacks. I couldn't kind of spot it. Let's try to find someone else that maybe uses a little bit more stone skin because that's what we want on the test server, testing about stone skin. But it seems like everybody is not so up for stone skin at the moment and nobody kind of cares. They, I think they're all faster than me. I don't want to make this video way longer than it should be. I think they're also faster than me. Yes, 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 maybe. They're probably faster than me. And it's wrong affinity. Um, <laughs> guys, come on the test server. At least do something like this. That's what I did for them. They're all in stone skin. Just test your thing and <laughs> you know. Um, yes, I think I don't have an enemy right now that I can actually show off. Wait, I think. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. He actually went in the chat and was looking and actually sent up a team that has stone skin. So nice. So there was the Arbiter still going in front of us, but it's okay. Let's go use Tranda. Is she amazing or is she trash? We will find out right now. Well, at least the stone skin of the torment went off. <laughs> so it's kind of who, who wait again ah where is he did i pass him right there how many are stone skin again so we can see for proper way and yes we have to take a look at the torment we're gonna try it again is it gonna be nice is it gonna be bad we will find out right here well the stone skin disappeared. <laughs> That's what I can tell right now. The torment is, it didn't die, so hmm, it wasn't too great. Let's go again. And now let's change up the blessing. That is actually the interesting thing. Are you going to take her now in another kind of build? And you're going to use that blessing to actually just one pump enemies in arena. That would be actually a nice thing, but still cooldown is on a five turn. What am I doing? I have, I'm supposed to do that one, that one. Was it that one? Stone skin right there. Let's go in there and try again. Is she a PVP monster now? Would be actually amazing. So speed matter could be maybe viable. Because if they take something, they have to add something. And it would be just kind of sick if that champion is not that great anymore. Don't get me wrong, still a, a nice champion, you can use it. It's just not the thing that she was anymore. She got nerfed to the ground. <laughs> so again, let, let's try out the new blessing. Fine, bad, bullshit. Let's see, I'm gonna boost right into her. And we, I think we all can agree that we, when we're trying to get 
attacks on stone skin that we are not planning to put debuffs on them because yeah it's not gonna land at all so <laughs> is it gonna be nice or bad we will find out and <laughs> <laughs> yes guys i i think chanda is really kind of trash now you you have other champions that do basically the same job as her in my nightmare runs basically all the teams i have been using they did around 400 million damage and that will be probably the same on chanda if you go on normal mode maybe you squeeze out 600 million damage for the gear i have is not worth it anymore also in arena she is trash we're gonna try it out in the background again but yeah overall the champion is just not worth it anymore i think it got nerfed to the ground it's kind of okay but that is not the place where Chwanda should be before she was in raid shadow legends history and now she's just in between everybody else the other damage dealers they can might do the same thing than her and maybe she's 10% better than the other ones, but that's just not what you're suspecting. So <laughs> quickly again, can we kill that? That <laughs> He just has nothing. He's defense based and stuff. Okay, I give it to them, but we ignore defense and, and yeah. So Torment, please die. Maybe some champions will die if you have better stats and you could actually get something out of there. Maybe there are some Krakens that actually can do what I'm trying right now. And yes it's okay but still not <laughs> yeah whatever i think trunda is not as good as she was anymore and a whole update by itself is just negative for the whole community everything got harder everything got a little bit more <laughs> more tricky for you to actually do some more damage than the average one when i use a four kind of free to play friendly team and a mikage ninja teox team and they're performing basically the same and then I bring Tronda in there. She's basically performing the same. It's not as great as it was before anymore. And I don't feel motivated to really struggle in there, get my damage more up because I can find out some solutions for it. New strategy, new something. But I think right here, we don't have too many things to offer for Hydra. And also Tronda is not as good for Arena that you might thought. Maybe if you have the craziest stats in the world, could be okay, but a normal player like probably you and me we won't be able to do it but yeah that will be the end of the video <laughs> press the like button of course subscribe if you haven't done already and yeah <laughs> see you in the next one